guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and we are today going back into the Zulu palette. I did a video previous to this where I did the swatches and everything and I thought, you know, how many people actually only want one look out of a palette? Probably not many. We're going to go back into this palette today and we're going to be using the same base palette um, in all of these videos. Uh, the Tarte Rainforest and C2 palette that I got from my BoxyCharm because it is perfect for this. I'm just going to take uh, the base shade that I use, which is this top one, and put that all over my lid. And I have a little advice for those of you with hooded eyes. Um, I see a lot of people in YouTube videos in places saying that they use concealer for their eye primer, and that does work for most people. But if you have hooded eyes, I don't recommend it. Um, I tried it out to see how it would work for me, and it creased immediately. A uh, big, huge crease right across the center of my eyelid that is just gonna get worse um, because of the hooded eye, just the way it folds up. <sighs> it just doesn't work. have a base shade down I'm just gonna go in with a lighter brown color um, which is this one right here it's two over from that and I'm just gonna put that in my outer V and crease I have just a little bit of um, the neutrals in there to blend on top of and I've deepened up my crease just a little bit just enough that I can now go in with this brown shade right here on the end. I'm going to use pointed E. See how it's pointed right there? Uh, crease brush for this. And I'm just putting that in my crease. I just use that to give me a little bit of depth. And I'm just gonna blend that really, really well. Now for the fun colors. Fun colors. I'm gonna use the purple on my outer corner. Um, a lot of these are matte. Six are mattes, three are shimmers, or glitters or something. I have that deepened up really nicely as far as I want it to be. And now I'm gonna take, this is the Wayne Goss number 19 brush, and I'm gonna pick up the pink, this one right here, and I'm gonna go across my lid with it. And then I'm gonna blend these together really, really well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a yellow, the yellow out of here, that really bright yellow, and I'm gonna kind of create a sunrise look with this. So I'm gonna take a clean brush, this tart blending brush will work, and I'm just gonna go around the outside edge of this up here. See how it, I'm hoping you guys can see that. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put the yellow on my inner, the inner portion of my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go underneath with a small brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the purple and put that on the very outer corner. And then I'm gonna take some pink. I'm undecided if I wanna put some glitter in the center of this or not. Um, I think it would look really pretty, but I also really love the way this looks matte. I'm gonna take this corally, pinky, beautiful color right here, and I'm just gonna take my finger to do this. And put that on the center of my lid. And then a little bit in the inner corner, and I, I'm going to use a brush for the inner corner part. That's going to be all I'm doing with my shadows, and I'm just going to put on my eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I put on some mascara and curled my lashes and a little bit of eyeliner to just really define this look. Um, 
I love this palette. I think it is so beautiful and so many looks in here. Um, like I said before, this is not a one palette look. Uh, you're going to struggle, unless you have dark skin, of just using this palette, um, which, you know, that's, that's okay. Because most of us have, if not a neutral palette laying around, we have a couple singles that are in neutrals and would work well with that. I absolutely love this palette. I love the fact that I can do super unique, different looking looks. Like, I could do them for a month because it has so many colors in it. Um, today, we I did the top row the first time, the bottom row this time, and then next time I'll be using the center row. Um, I'm using my Pirates of the Caribbean Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, well, wait, it's called Sparrow, not Captain Jack, but Sparrow lip gloss. And I just totally spaced out and forgot to highlight my brow bone. So I'm looking at it like, why does that not look quite right? doesn't look quite right because it's not quite finished. Please let me know below if you want me to do more videos or more multi-look videos where you're using one palette but using a bunch of looks out of it. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Why do I want to spend $40 on a palette that I can do one thing with? And most palettes are built to do multiple looks. Yeah, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in because I'm gonna do, like I said, this three-part series of this palette because there's just so many looks in it. And for, um, I paid $14.98 with shipping for it. I think if you love color. If you love color, you're going to love this palette. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.